Okay, so today we're just going to do a really quick tutorial on how to add your Shopify store logo to the pack in slip template. So by default, what it will do is just pull in the name of the store. So we're going to try and pull the logo into that template so it looks a bit nicer for our customers when they purchase things. So the first thing we need to do is jump into settings. And I'm just here in a test store, so I don't have a lot in it. It's just um, it's a bit bare bones. But if we jump into the files menu here, and then I've got a logo here that I've used for the store. So what we can do is jump over to this bit under the link column, and we can just click on this link icon that says copy link. And then that link is now copied into the clipboard. And we're going to jump back into settings. And then we're going to jump into the shipping and delivery section. And then in this section, it's um, all your shipping rates and those bits, but also there's the packing slip area here. So you can jump into here. Now, this all looks quite complicated, but don't worry about that. We'll, we can all run through it. So we jump into up here, we've got this preview template button. So if we click on that, it should open a PDF of what our packing slip looks like. So we've just got the text of the name of my store up there. And ideally we want to replace that with the logo. So if we close that down and what we've got, this bit here, so shop name, that's essentially a, a Shopify variable just to show the name of the store. And it's inside these tags that are P. So a P tag is a paragraph. So what we're gonna do is drag from the top of this P down to the end one. So this whole section, and we're just gonna delete that. And then we want to add in an image tag, essentially. This will all be in the description, so don't worry, you won't have to write any of this. So we want an image tag with a source of, and then if we paste in what we had, this was the logo, uh, the, uh, the file name for the logo we just took. So we can open this up in a new tab if we wanted to, and it will just open up the logo. So it's just the link to our logo. And then we're just closing that off inside an image tag. And then just for these, I like to just declare an inline style for them just because it's part of a um, part of an email template. So we just um, add this in and just say width equals, oops, added too many, and height equals, um, no, it's not too many, sorry, we've got, oh, sorry, what am I doing there? That's not right. Um, but don't worry, this will all just be there. So don't worry about this bit. Uh, just add these in. It is important that you, you get these ones right though. So um, we've got a width and a height. And then what we need to do is just jump into um, find our logo wherever we made it. So mine's just here. Um, if we just get the information about the logo. So my logo is 180 pixels wide by 108 pixels high. Um, so we need to remember that just so we can set it. It may be that your logo is too big or it gets squashed in the um, in the kind of proportions of the, the area that it's sitting in. So just try and find this out. So 180 wide by 108 high. Um, and then I will just declare that in here. So width um, 180 and height. I've forgotten already. Does it 108? 108 by 108 pixels. Uh, and then we should have successfully changed that now. So our, if we go to preview now, then we've got our logo there. So you can see it's all working. Um, there are a couple of ways you can declare these heights and widths. So you, you could technically, you can make um, a height auto um, and then if you wanted a bit smaller, we could say, actually, I'd like it to be 100 pixels. Let me just close that back and slip down. Um, and then that should automatically scale it. I like to just um, have it so it's set height and width, um, just because it's it's not responsive and I know it's going to show up in the right size then. But you, you do have the option to just sort of tweak these. 
Um, it's probably worth before you you start or say if we haven't saved any of this, we could just refresh it if we copied and pasted this. You can refresh it and it will just go back to how it was before. It's not uh, it hasn't saved any of this. You can preview without saving. Um, but it may be worth just uh, copying out this packing slip if you're worried about ruining it. Just copy it, paste it into a text document or something, just so you've got it, just in case. But we're really only editing these lines here. So uh, that's from, uh, let's go back, line four to line six, and you, you can break them out. White space doesn't really matter in here. So you can have that. And so we, we will just delete it and replace it with, with our bit. And that bit of code will be in the description. You just need to get into that file section and copy out the correct logo. Um, one thing bearing in, worth bearing in mind is that it is actually, um, it, that is a static file. So if you decide one day that you're going to change what the store logo looks like, it won't change in your packing slip. So if you rebrand or you change your name or something like that, just remember that the packing slip logo does need to be updated as well. Um, and that's it really, that's all you need to do. So um, if this helped, um, please give the video a like. And uh, if you want to learn more about e-commerce and um, how to you know, update bits to your store, then uh, please subscribe.